Okay, so in this particular problem, we have this mass coming down the ramp, right? And it's going to collide with the second mass. They're going to move off together in an inelastic collision, which means what happens to them? They stick together, so they're going to move off like that. And then we encounter some friction, and it's going to eventually stop right here. Okay? We are going to answer this with variables. Remember, variable-only problems always look back to what they give you. Make sure your answer only has those variables. Okay, so the first case, we're going to start up here. And this, we're asking how fast is it moving when it reaches the bottom. So what's that velocity? So we're going to use conservation of energy, right? What kind of energy do we have up here at the top? Okay, so gravitational potential, UG. And then it slides all the way down to the bottom. What kind of energy at the bottom? Kinetic. All kinetic. Okay, so we'll go mgh equals one half mv squared. Okay, masses cancel. Solve for v. So v, let's call this v bottom because we're going to have two v's. So the v at the bottom is going to be square root of two gh. Again, take a look back. H is good. G is good. Okay, and then numbers are always good, no matter what. Okay, so that should be what you got for letter A. Okay, letter B. So now we have this mass c moving. It's going to collide with the second mass. Okay, and stick. So what, what concept are we going to use to solve this? Conservation. Momentum conservation. Good, so that's going to be P initial equals P final. Okay, so we have the mass the single mass and its velocity, let's call that V bottom, we just found that, that should equal, they stick, right? So we're going to add the masses, I mean you probably can do this in your head, just to formally do it, let's do it, M plus 2M, they stick, and then let's just call this, uh, we'll call it V combo, that's the combined masses after the collision. And what is m plus 2m? 3m. Okay, so again, 1m cancels mm. So I have v bottom equals 3v combo, or v combo equals m, sorry, v bottom divided by 3. Is v bottom one of our allowed variables? No. No. Okay, we can only have h, m, mu, or g. So you do, whenever that happens, don't leave it like this. V combo equals V bottom over 3. That's not one of our allowed variables. Okay. Whenever this happens, you usually solved for it earlier, like we just did. So you just make that substitution. And you should get square root of 2GH over 3 equals V combo. Okay, and that is question number B. All right, lastly, letter C. So taken as a whole, this looks like a hard problem, but when you break it down into those little baby steps, you're just doing momentum or energy and then momentum and then this last one. You could do this multiple ways, okay? Since we're energy's fresh on our mind, let's use, let's use energy, okay? So at this point, we have this combo mass moving, right? So what kind of energy do we have at that point? Kinetic energy. Okay, that's going to slow down and stop. Where did all that energy go? Into heat energy, right. So friction did some work, took, a, took, a, took the energy away. So let's just say all that kinetic is going to turn into work, work of friction. Okay, and then let's do it. So we're going to have one half. Now what M do I use for this? The combined, the combined mass, right, so 3M. So we're going to use 3M. And then V, which V is this? The combo V. Okay. 
equals work of friction. How do we find work? Force parallel to distance. Force parallel to distance. This is force of friction. So now we get to break friction down, which you've done many times. So what's our equation for friction? Mu F normal. And then lastly, on a nice flat surface, I mean, I don't want to go through all the FBDs, but on a nice flat surface, what's true about the normal force? Equal to, equal to the weight, right? Which in this case is? 3mg, because there's three masses. Okay, so we're going to go mu 3mg d. And we were solving for d, right? Mm -hmm. See if we can make some simplifications. So this is what? 1 half 3mvc. Oh, I lost something. You guys didn't catch me. Good. Square, square. Okay, uh, we can cancel a 3m, right? 3m, 3m. Let's get rid of that. Can we be left with vc in the end? No. No. So where's our vc? vc is way over here. So we're going to need to substitute that in. Let's do that. One half. So what happens when we square a, a square root? We cancel. Okay, we're just left with 2gh. And what happens when we square a 3? We're left with 9. Okay, equals mu g d. Okay, well that's nice. There goes g. g cancels. There goes our 2. That cancels. And what are we left with? d equals h divided by 9 mu. Let's check our final final uh, allowed things. Are we allowed to use h? Yeah, are we allowed to use mu? Yes. Okay, and any numbers are always good.